Next week I'm going to try a different format, basically focus more on the end goal and not what I did to get there. Yeah, um, no. It's the journey that matters, not the end destination. Or at least I would like to believe so. So why bother changing a format that is obviously working just fine and that I enjoy making. So welcome brave adventurers to episode number 3 where we are going to be doing the crate turn in process or at least for the most part this was the main goal for this entire second week. Um, this week began on Monday and not where we left off on Sunday because Sunday I was locked off the entire day and all I did was editing. So we begin with Monday, this was a pretty uneventful day, all I did was AFK fish in the beginning and later in the evening I sold some of my nodes, um, the worker empire nodes, to be able to get the CP required to connect all the way to Valencia. At that time I wanted to think about what would be my final setup but I just ended up um, getting about 26 CP and then I said I would redo the set up later and just leave it as it is for now. Um, after selling the fish, the octop creatures and basically getting ready, I started to go to the villa, basically I got my ingots to buy a villa registration, to get a buff and to start this entire um, annoying process of turning in trash crates. I said Monday was pretty uneventful because by the time I got to actually start the turning process it was 2 am on Tuesday, that's when I uh, bought the value pack and I was at the villa entrance. So as I mentioned in the previous episode I only use one day value packs about once every two weeks so I wanted to make sure that I can turn in all of my crates in one single day and that day turned out to be Tuesday. Do you remember when I said on the previous episode that you can move crates easier or faster to Valencia using the battle arena method? Well, I'm not sure if it was fixed or if just simply my ping got better overnight, but what better way to transport or to begin this um, trade turn in process than to waste 3 hours before doing that while my value pack was running. I guess you could call this some form of punishment for the time I saved using a bug that was not intended to work that way, but basically um, one of my horses, the first one, was already out on my ranger in Valencia and I wanted to move it to Arehaza and I decided instead of walking from Valencia to Arehaza, I would go inside Battle Arena and get out on Arehaza. A mistake which now I regret because um, it didn't work. My horse got stuck inside the battle arena and I ended up having to take a boat, to buy a boat actually, and go all the way to Ilia Island to pick up my horse manually. Don't ask me why I decided to use a boat to get there, I just simply wanted to do this as an AFK process while I play on my tablet, instead of having to run there manually with a horse through the desert and stuff like that. It's funny how karma works because I'm not even angry or surprised that this happened. I saved maybe 3 hours using the battle arena method and now I wasted about 3 hours um, using the method so in the end I have no gains. Um, 
anyway, when I got back to um, Bazaar with my horse, I had to pick up again the villa buff because it expired or it was almost expiring and getting back to Valencia, I moved the horse to Arehaza and now I have four horses in Arehaza ready to be traded in. Now, this is where we get into the interesting part, am I right? The actual crate turn in process. I started as a skilled 5 trading, so I didn't start from zero, if you do you might need a little bit more crates, but as I already mentioned I have 4 horses in Arehaza. You can see in my inventory the buffs that I used, basically I had plus 2 traders clothes because I couldn't make the plus 3 ones, just simply bad luck. Um, the pets for life skill experience, the villa buff which I already talked about, the life skill drought, the verdure one or whatever is the proper pronunciation, a cron meal because I couldn't buy the plus 15 food that is better than cron seafood meal, nobody wants to sell those apparently, um, a GM blessing that gives plus 10% life skill experience, I saved the plus 15 one for when I would do the bigger Valencia turn-ins and a life skill experience crawl. If I missed anything it will be somewhere on the screen anyway, so you know if you care they are they are there. Um, the horses, the first one had cloud mushroom crates, the maximum amount, or at least what I believe at that time to be maximum, 7150 instead of 55, but yeah. Um, I traded them in as 200 at a time, because someone told me there is some form of a bug in the game, maybe it was fixed by now, maybe not, but he said that if you trade in everything at once, you might not get all the experience, because sometimes it bugs, and if you level up you don't get the full amount, or something like that. So I traded, in, traded them in 200 at a time. The second horse had 10 ore crates, uh, again 7000 of those, the third one fortune teller mushroom crates and this one was not filled at maximum with 4.5 thousand of those. And the last one had 10 ore crates with 7000 basically again maximum. In total that would be about 26,000 crates traded in in Arehaza and they got me all the way up to Artisan 4 which was enough to start doing the desert trading buff questline to do the better tradings in uh, Valencia. After the first 4 initial horses I took everything that was still left in the Arehaza bank including all of the money made because I had no intention to return there again in the future and um, basically actually this time I learned my lesson and I bought potions, um, water and tea so I don't die anymore when I travel through the desert and uh, when I left um, I also moved two more horses to bazaar to get them ready for the bigger trade-in. Uh, basically I wanted to have my ranger sit in Valencia with all of the buffs running while some other character like my uh, wizard would keep on moving horses until I ran out of my buffs. That's why I moved these two more horses to bazaar to prepare them because my Valencia storage was already full. Um, after this the Artisan 2 questline began, took about 45 minutes to finish all of that, I'm not going to show it because it's a lot of quests, I will just link um, in the top right a video that I used to follow it in case you need to do the questline yourself. Now with the Artisan 2 questline done, it's finally time to make the big gains by trading in the rest of the crates in Valencia. So again I took another villa buff because they kind of expired too fast, I took the desert trading buff which is basically a 100% bonus and I think I'm going to just make a time lapse of my um, crates turned in in Valencia which was I believe um, 18 total horses, you already, you already know how the process goes, basically you trade them in and stuff like that, so there's no need for me to explain that again.
I only got to trade in 6 horses before my perfume of swiftness ran out. Sadly, I probably could have uh, traded in one or two more if I didn't waste time trying to snipe energy potions. I kind of forgot that you need energy in the first place to get the desert trading buff, so I had um, energy issues while bargaining after every single horse. I did get one potion on my wizard, I gave it to my ranger, but it still wasn't enough. So after this, to, uh, in an attempt actually to not run into this issue again, I took my wizard and all of my characters actually, I turned all of their energy into energy potions to give them to my ranger and in the same time I figured since I already have a value pack and it only lasts one day, why not sell stuff to the marketplace, stuff like my relics and whatever else I had stored in my wagons to make profit, basically I only have one day to do that. Um, I filled also one more horse so I don't return with my wizard all the way to Valencia with nothing, um, just another 7000 crates and then I continued to turn in the rest of my crates without the perfume of swiftness. Also for the first 6 horses I forgot to take my pets out and now for the rest of them I did have my pets out. <music> I wonder if it would have been better to first turn in the bad crates like the mushroom and pumpkin ones and later turn in all of the wood and ore ones, maybe make more profit that way. Um, by the way also I, I typed um, horse 8 twice so maybe that's why you will see them delayed or not 18 in total and here's me selling some more relics. So now let's go back to turning in crates. Close to the end, if you paid attention, I started selling 500 or 600 crates at once because at that point it took me a lot of crates to even get to one level of trading. Um, in the end, I have or I got to Master 8 trading, 95% experience, so close to Master 9 if only one of those um, 4000 horses would have been full with the maximum amount of crates I would have probably been master 9, but still it was very nice. Uh, I took all of the money out, I believe it was about 600 millions uh, just in silver and then the ingots. Um, it was a very profitable session to be honest. And now I don't regret having to move all of these trash crates that I saved for so much time. It takes about one hour to move a horse, maybe one, a, a little over one hour. And uh, if you make maybe 30 millions, probably 20 millions or 25 of those are pure profit. It's probably about as good as grinding, so I don't mind spending the time. Do you guys enjoy the character tag system as it is implemented? Because to me it seems to not be useful. 
I mean, I tried mine out for the first time in Valencia and I learned the hard way that you can only untag them in the exact same city. I tried doing it in Calfian and it didn't work and imagine going all the way to Valencia just to do that. Um, also there is this 5 minute cooldown switching between characters which is annoying, if they are not tagged I can switch between my ranger and wizard without the cooldown, so yeah. Anyway at the end of Tuesday, this is still Tuesday, um, my value pack was finally starting to expire. With the last few hours on my value pack I um, tried to redo my worker empire, spent a couple of hours thinking what I should do and I think I'm going to talk about it, my setup um, in a totally different video, make it its own video, keep this one focused on the great turn in process basically. Um, after a couple of hours tinkering with the worker setup I didn't really end up changing much, I basically moved the valuable crate production in Grana, switched some nodes here and there and nothing much uh, happened. Anyway we can talk about that in the next part. Um, uh, Wednesday came next, Wednesday is the maintenance day and this was a pretty uneventful day. Um, basically I went through my entire Tuesday without sleeping at all, I tried to make use of the 24 hours of, of value pack as much as possible and I just simply got into the, the turn in process. Um, Wednesday I finally got myself to sleep so for the most part I spent my Wednesday sleeping and waiting for the maintenance to end so I did some processing in Calfian, some processing um, in uh, Heidel, making items for Calfian and Media crates and some gathering process burning through two fluid extractors because later in the next episode we can talk about imperial cooking and cooking in general. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here, it will turn out to be long enough and as I said, let's keep it focused on trash crates. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I will see you guys in the next part and let me know if you would have done the turning process differently. I probably could have um, waited for some guild buff or um, try to put a much higher pre-order on a second perfume, by the way 25 millions is still not enough to get a perfume of swiftness apparently. So yeah, keep playing Black Desert, stay happy and bye bye.